Hey folks, I'm attorney Roger P. Foley and I'm gonna to talk to you about your lawyer. Do you like him? Do you like her? If you don't, it's not the right attorney for you. Why do I say that? Why are we talking about this topic? You know why? Because I have a client or had a client that didn't like me. I don't know why. Maybe I'm too charming, too funny, too smart. I don't know, maybe I'm a derelict, maybe I'm too stupid, maybe I'm obnoxious, uh, maybe they don't like the way I dress, I, I, I don't know. Um, but I had a client that recently just didn't like me. I didn't have anything against the client, I was doing everything I could to help the client. Um, I had represented a friend and a family member of the defendant in the past and I don't know, I actually even represented this defendant in the past. Last time I didn't feel like they liked me or they were just shy and quiet or something. But then this time, geez, I can't get the person to call me. They don't return my phone calls. When I'm around them, there's just like no emotion. It's like, like I'm talking to a cadaver. Um, and as we know, cadavers don't talk back, right? So um, just, just awkward, very difficult to to represent someone who is giving you I, I just negative signals, you know, like they're not happy with your representation or that they second guess. Um, sure, I mean, it's always good to second guess people, right? You're seeking advice, I understand that. Second guess, get second opinions, um, talk to other attorneys, um, but sometimes it is what it is. Um, you know, you, you, you try to look at the case from two perspectives, whether it's a plea case or whether it's a trial case. And this case was one of those cases it could literally go either way. It's the client's decision. There were defenses that could be made, some mistakes that police made, some 100% positive statements from police officers that, you know, anyone that, you know, had half a brain would realize that they couldn't be 100% um, sure or knowledgeable on a particular topic, but they were. So there were definitely defenses from a trial perspective. Um, and it could be a plea. Um, but who tells me that? I tell the client, these are the defenses you have. This is how much it'll cost. This is what is bad for you in the case. This is what's good for you in the case. These are what I think your chances are. Second aspect, this is what the state has started off with. After taking depositions, this is, we've got them to cut the time in half. It's your choice. I, unfortunately, I can't make the choice for you. I mean, stone cold, the whole, you know, year of representation. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, and I, I just thought to myself, yeah, like if this person ever calls me again, I'm going to not accept the case just simply because they, they they should be happy with their lawyer, right? They they should feel confident in their, their lawyer. And if there's something that I'm doing, you know, then that that's just me, you know, I, I don't know, like my suit, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe they don't like my, my cologne, I, I don't know. Um, but if your attorney bothers you and you don't feel like you can be yourself and have a conversation. Remember, attorneys are not above you. We are people. I look you in the eye, you look me in the eye, right? I, I'm not your superior, right? Does it matter that I went to school for, for law school? Guess what? You went to school for something else or you have experience in something else. We're, we're the same. So I don't, I do my very best. I, I don't think I'd look down on anyone, but you know, who knows? I, I don't know, you know what the opposite pers perspective is or perception is. Um, but you have to be happy with your attorney. So be happy with your attorney. Yes, it's a serious topic. Make sure it's someone you like, but also someone that's knowledgeable, right? Because you could like the person and they're a total schmuck and that's not gonna help you too much. Um, or you could find someone who is a great attorney, but you can't stand their guts. Uh, if I had a choice, I'd go with the guy that's the brainiac that knows the stuff that I can't stand. But optimally, you want to like your attorney, feel like you're friends with your attorney, feel like your attorney would go to war with you, and be confident in his or her abilities. 
that, that's it. So if you're not happy with your attorney, change your attorney. I'm attorney Roger P. Foley.